Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. I just want to share some of my personal favorite uh, Bible commentaries. Now, a lot of you, judging by the comments, you say you don't use Bible commentaries. I understand that. I will say they have been of great benefit to me over the years. You know, just archaeology and uh, different backgrounds and manners and customs and those kind of things. So these are just some of my personal favorites, ones that have benefited me me over the years. The first would be the J. Vernon McGee. Now I realize it's not real technical, but it is excellent. And he has every so often amazing nuggets in his commentary and a ton of like background. Like if you go to the seven churches of Revelation. I mean, you know, just what were the cities about? And it's just enough information. You know, I'm a preacher that it is fantastic for preaching, for knowledge, and even teaching. I teach at a Bible school, but it's not so technical that it bogs you down. I wouldn't use it exclusively, but it is excellent. And it is based on the King James Version of the Bible. Secondly, and, you know, he's still got his ministry out there. He's long since passed away, but he's still the, through the Bible program, five years through the Bible, just outstanding. So if you can get those books, sometimes you can get them really cheap on eBay, the little five volume set. I did want to mention that. Warren Wearsby is another one. I've often said if I just had McGee and Wearsby, they have enough different information that they really help me. I just found a set of Wearsby's original stuff at a flea market down here here in South Georgia. Maybe I'll do a review of that in a, in a Sasser flea market book haul video I did. They're in there, but I may do one exclusively for those as well. But Warren Wearsby's commentary on the scripture, the B series, I just get like the two volume set or the multi-volume set. Just incredible. You got the new Wearsby study Bible out there. Also, J. Vernon McGee has a study Bible also. I think I've done reviews. I'm sure I have on both those. I haven't done it on the new J. Vernon McGee. That's just because of a lack of funds. Probably a lack of time too. Lack of funds for sure. But anyhow, I've done it on the old J. Vernon McGee Bible, which is fantastic, giant print. So Warren Wearsby, J. Vernon McGee. Another one that has astounding information is uh, William Barclay with the Through the Bible series, the Daily Bible Study series, William Barclay. He was a master, I think he was from Scotland, of understanding the contextualization of scripture. So the background, uh, Jewish thoughts, Jewish theology, incredible things in the William Barclay, the Daily Bible Study series. Another one that I dearly love is the Barnes Notes. This is from the 19th century, but the Barnes Notes study edition, the commentaries, just absolutely fantastic. I, I get so much, and again, it is technical. It, you know, when you read it, you feel like I have learned something here. And again, it, you know, the parts that if he tries to like reinterpret or say the Bible really means something else, you know, I just ignore that, eat the food, spit out the sticks, and get the parts of the historicity, how thick were the walls of Babylon, all of these type things, just among my favorites, just outstanding. Another one that I highly suggest that you get in the unabridged edition, don't, don't uh, get the abridged edition, the unabridged is the Jameson Fawcett Brown series. Jameson Fawcett Brown, again from I think the 19th century, absolutely wonderful. And you know, it's God honoring, Bible believing for the most part, and it just gives so much information. It's just very difficult to quantify the amount of information that are in there. Now there's tons of other Bible commentaries out there, and I've used, and I've done, uh, reviews on several of them. I know amongst apostolic brethren, a lot of them really like Adam Clark because he seemed to have the grasp of the Godhead that is very similar in understanding to a lot of oneness people. I had an apostolic pastor friend of mine. He said he's just gotten up and read from the pulpit from Adam Clark. 
I've never gotten a lot of Matthew Henry. I get a little bit out of Spurgeon. His are more like sermon notes and stuff like that. Um, a lot of the, the more modern ones, you know, probably Craig Keener is a favorite of mine and John MacArthur, even though obviously I'd have some vast disagreements. Uh, many times just on background, he's excellent. I've got another friend of mine who's got a PhD from the University of Birmingham in England. He's one of the most uh, intelligent scholars in the world written first-rate scholarship Talmadge French from up at Apstock Tab in uh, Jonesboro, Georgia. He really likes the word biblical commentary. Uh, I like most anything by James Hastings as well, whether it's his uh, Bible Encyclopedia's Dictionary, the old ISBE, I still need to do a review on that I think at some point, the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia called the Isbees, uh, just by James Orr, editor. Fantastic. But those are just a few of my favorite Bible commentaries. I didn't want to really get into Bible background books and, you know, Victor Matthews and then the F.H. White Manners and Customs. All those have helped me in studying the Bible over the years. But uh, those are just a few of my personal favorites. If I had just had to pick two, it'd be Vernon McGee and Wearsby, strangely enough, but then go from there. So God bless you. I'll talk with you later in Jesus' name.